your advertisement? Got to thank Liz Fox for the butler hat. Thought it'd be appropriate that I wore the butler hat today. Uh, thanks for joining us on Drop Offline Sports this morning. <laughs> yeah, that's what it says. But. No, it doesn't say or a but. All right, it says yes. no. It says See, look. Earl Tom. It's a but. It says but. Would you stop doing that? <laughs> Hey, good morning, everybody. I'm glad you're on board on Drop Off Line Sports. Anybody stay up late and watch Butler last night? Uh, Butler led for what? All of about 90 plus seconds. Seton Hall led for the entire game. Spin the dial first. Well, now we got to be face my thought before you spin the dial. Uh, Kamar Baldwin had a huge game. What's up, Ian, man? I'm waving at you, brother. Um, Kamar Baldwin had a big game. Ready? And our guy, Tyler Ready? Weidman, Ready? from earlier this week, was on the show. Had the game-winning put back with uh, a little over a couple of seconds remaining. Big win for the dogs. Good morning, Brian. Good morning, Pete. So Butler gets Villanova, Lanny, later on tonight. So you just want to put it on Willie's Roadhouse for the heck of it here, aren't you? That's all right. You turned off Steve Winwood for everybody. Good morning, Colleen. Colleen recently had a birthday. I had this on. Hey, I'm not going to get mad at you if you turn it on a Friday to Conway Twitty here. I'm just not. I like Conway Twitty. Good morning, Aaron. What did you guys think of the dogs last night? They have a shot against Villanova later on tonight. And, and listen, make no mistake, now Butler is for sure in the tournament, if we were ever even talking about that. Good morning, Joe Shearer. Uh, Sean Patrick Turley is in. What else do we got to talk about? Butler, Villanova, you got a big day inside conference tournaments. Uh, should be fun. But last night was pretty good. My man Rick Clark says he's got two for a regional game tickets. $50 for the pair. That's for down at Seymour. That's Romeo Lakeford, uh, shushy, Bloomington shush. South, shushy, Evansville shush. North, and Center Grove. Shushy, shush. You shushy shush. shush. Did somebody just say? Shush. Pacers play the Hawks later on tonight, lady. No, shush. shush. You're wild this morning. What are you doing? Good morning, Brandy. Bloomfield tomorrow in Martinsville versus Tenley. That's at 10 a.m. That's a Class A regional. Uh, my friend Jamie Hudson's the head coach of Bloomfield. Good luck. Good luck to my friend J.B. Neal, head coach of Edgewood. In 3A, they're on the road, I think, in Greencastle versus Lebanon coming up tomorrow. Hey, Mrs. Fox, that's who gave us this hat right here, Lainey Lou. Diaper. Oh, I'm not allowed to say that on here. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Kurt. I hope everything's going okay down in Dubois County. Uh, I just had another question. What is this? Uh, Brandon Wolf says, got another promotion at Caterpillar. Let the good times roll. Indeed. Ow, what are you doing back here? That's enough of that silliness. You want me to do it again? And sit up and be nice. Hey, I was told yesterday, lady, we're about ready. We might be about ready to get a chocolate milk sponsorship. How's that? Hey. All right, who are your number one seeds? Who are your two seeds? Hey, who would you have right now winning the national championship? Who do you have right now winning the national championship? Say hi, say hi, Liz Fox, hi. Um, yep, have a great day. Our Bluefield Cardinals play Tinley tomorrow, 10 a.m. in Martinsville. I should be there too. Uh, hi, is that your daughter? Yes, it is my daughter, thank you. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know who that is. But they're glad they're watching. That's great. Lady wants thumbs. Thank you very much. Kyle Guy was clutch yesterday. No doubt about that. Michael Speaker said, did you get a haircut? Lady loves the haircut, don't you? Lady. <laughs> Woo! Look at that. Look at the sweet do right here, everybody. Sweet do. Lady, who do you have? Who do you have winning the national championship? Blake picks Gonzaga. And we'll be on Fox 59 on Sunday night. Gonzaga! To talk I'm about going to. You're going, you're picking Gonzaga? What? Good morning, Ted. She obviously took after her mom. <laughs> Michael Speaker, Purdue all the way, baby. Uh, Corey Hall, you just turned it. I couldn't read Corey Hall's question. Jim Abel, good morning. It is high and tight right there, isn't it? I did. You know what? I just said, what the heck? Let's just do it. What do you think about my hair, Lainey? Tell them all about it. What do you think? Do you like my haircut? No? 
I kind of like it. I am really having fun with the daughter, too. There's no doubt. High and tight. I like it high and tight there. It was getting a little long, a little scruffy. So we took care of it. Oh, uh, what happened? What did I do? You fight. How do I? No, no. I didn't know there. Yeah, it's not quite Kim Jong Un. Yeah, I guess it kind of is Kim Jong Un a little bit. Kim Jong Un. Yeah, the North Korea guy, Laney. That's kind of who that is. Yes. All right, Patsy Klein. Patsy Klein's kind of wearing me out right here a little bit. It says bit. you are really having fun. Looking. We are really having fun, aren't we? Is that hey, you want to hear that Ga garden party? Rick Nelson. You remember his sons, the Nelsons? No. Prince, Purple Rain, lady. Um, man, watch Purdue football spring practice. Uh, looking good in my opinion. Purdue's going to be really good next year. They are. Would you stop doing that? Everybody's watching you look stupid. Quit. All right, quit. Let's talk about your evaluations. Oh! CNC Music Factory, you want to? Gary Hudson's watching. Good morning, Gary. Paul Bennett, Paul B's on board. Say hi, Paul B. Um, listen, I haven't seen the brackets, obviously, yet, because they're not out yet, but who would I pick to win the Final Four? That's a good question. Who would I pick to win the Final Four, Laney? You. Man, I don't want to pick Xavier. For some reason, Xavier sticks out, but I don't want to pick Xavier. I don't. Xavier likes to fight. I don't think I like that. I don't want to pick Xavier. Um, Jennifer says the replacement movie, one of the best parts of the cheerleader tryouts with it. Yeah. Hey, what are these lyrics, lady? <laughs> Did you know that this was one of the best albums in the 90s right here? Would you stop doing that? I'm going to ground your butt right here on TV. Seriously. Uh, Corey Hall says Nova can make another run. You know, I was thinking about Nova just for some reason. My, my favorite player on Nova's not Brunson. Actually, I think the biggest player in the entire tournament is Mikael Bridges of Villanova. Ryan Elliott says Michigan looked good in the Big Ten tournament. Oh, wait, think they can keep it going? I think they will. Yeah. I, actually, um, Shishy. Well, we're listening to Red Hot Chili Peppers. But I have something to say. What? lenny has got something to say. Hold on a second. Um, yesterday when we went to McHugh's, um, there was an arcade, and so there there was one with a lot of balls in it, and so um, I went back over to the golf thing, and I saw in the back of the corner um, a Michigan ball. So that's a sign is what you're saying. You like Michigan in the Final Four. To make it to the final four because of that. Yeah. In case you missed it, so we were at McHugh's yesterday. They were in the playroom um, with uh, Brianna, babysitter Brianna and Pappy. They're in McHugh's eating pizza, and there's a game over there that has a lot of balls in it. And Lady found a Michigan ball over there. So you think that's a sign that Michigan? No, I win? didn't actually win it. I just saw you didn't it win it. Corner. Oh, you just saw it in the corner. Saw it. That's just like winning it. You see it in the corner. And we also it's found just another, like winning. We saw another toy as well. It's when it's Oh, did you? All right. Oh, yeah. The that thing. The, yeah. But the Michigan ball. You think that's a sign, don't you? Don't you? Yes. All right. Stories with Laney. Brought to you by McHugh's <laughs> and McHugh's awesome pizza. All right. Who else we got? What else we got this morning? Um. You guys want to send anything else? We can. Hey. I'm going to advise you to, to listen to this if you missed it yesterday. Jeff Diamond is a former NFL Executive of the Year and has a really good breakdown of the free agency class, especially at wide receiver. Um, and he also, he, he used to be in on you know those interviews with the draft selections of the draft possibilities. And now he... Hey, right, Shishi! It says, it says... Good morning, Lainey. It says, so if I pick Michigan and win my... Yeah. If Michigan wins, do you get a cut of the winnings? Yeah. So they're all going to pick Michigan because you found the Michigan ball. See? They're looking. They're looking at that as a sign. Jennifer says Zionsville boys in the regionals tomorrow go Eagles. They are. That's for the first time in a long time. 
Well, hold on. Let me finish. The Jeff Diamond, 1070thefan.com, um, also talks about the questions, some of the ridiculous questions they ask in these player interviews at the Combine. Really good stuff. 1070thefan.com. Now let's play Spin the Dial, Lainey. Random Spin the Dial. Random Spin the Dial is brought to you by Speedway Premium Coffee, unofficially. This is what I get every morning because I don't have to wait in line. I just go in there and pour it, and there it is. Yes. Don Gibson. I like it. I don't know if I can sing that one, though. Let's see if I can, there's one I can sing here. Oh, we can't. Dude, turn that down. Sorry. <laughs> that was a bad word. That was a bad word. <laughs> Sorry about that. Bad word. Bad word on the show. All right. All right. Stop spinning the dial. Oh, no. We, I want to hear what she blinded me with science. Here we go. Science. You guys know the story about the guy that says, science. You know this? You ready, Lenny? Lenny turned it on some unedited ice cube we'd be clubbing that didn't work for drop off white sports you know this part where he goes science that was a scientist in england who as the story goes thomas dolby she blinded me with science 1983 as the story goes where he lived in england everybody everybody would see him on the street and say science to the he got kind of tired of it i think like he didn't think, I could think that would be cool if that were me, but he didn't like it. Hey, don't you like this song? Here we go, let's hear it. Science. Science. People in England bugged him on the street because of that. He didn't like it. I, what the heck was his name? I can't remember his name right now, though. We better go. Thanks for watching Drop Off Line Sports this week. Lady, anything to add? Final basketball game tomorrow? You going to do anything? I don't know. Darnell. <laughs> Good to see you. Hey, later on today, Stack Pickle, Plainfield. Join me there. I've got Hawks Pacers tickets courtesy of Coors Light for you. Stack Pickle. Stack Pickle in Plainfield today. And me and Blake talking NCAA tournament. And me. That is, are you going to? Yes. Oh, wait, I don't wait. know if you got invited. Get well, get up here and get on camera. Wait, Hurry up. I don't think you got invited. I did. You got invited? Chris Hagen didn't invite you, though. I can't have two, I can't have both you clowns on TV with me. That would be awful. Hey, <laughs> Pete, Craig. Everybody have a great weekend to Fox 59 Sunday night at 1030. Me and Blake regarding the NCAA tournament. Love you guys. Have a great weekend. Thumbs. Thumbs. Not Laney. Ow, ow, ow.